expressing his disappointment over the functioning of the border areas development program, Mosenram MLA H. M. Shangpliang said that in the last two years, not a single project has been sanctioned under the centrally sponsored program. He has questioned the delay in sanctioning of projects and said that the people residing in border areas should not suffer due to, and I quote, negligence of the department for non-submission of necessary documents and papers to government of India. Shangpyang also urged Chief Minister Konrad Sangma to look into the matter. I would like to express my disappointment about the functioning of the border area development. Uh, in the government of Meghalaya, to the fact that in the last two years, that is from 21-22 to 22-23, not a single project has been sanctioned under the Border Area Development Program. There is a centrally sponsored program called the BADP, Border Area Development Program, which is sanctioned and sponsored by the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India. Now, the sad thing here is that for the last two years, not a single project has been sanctioned. I tried my best to find out the reason why. And uh, I tried to speak to the secretary in charge border area. I tried to speak to the director of border area. I could not get a satisfactory reply. The department tells me that they have submitted all the papers required to Government of India, though at the state level, the committee has already cleared all the projects that have been submitted by various MLAs and from various constituencies. I myself have submitted a proposal to the tune of almost two crores for 21-22 again for another two crores for 22-23. Now we have just six months away from our elections. The people of our area who are in the international border are complaining of not receiving any developmental schemes under the border area. I am totally dismayed by the way that the government is reacting on this whole matter. I had raised the same issue in the last assembly and I was assured by the minister in charge for the uh, border areas that the matter will be taken up with the government of India and we should be getting the funds at the earliest. Now six months have gone, not a single penny has come. I do not understand why is the delay and what is the wrong that these sanctions have not been cleared by the government of India. Though, unofficially, I got the information that the government of India has not cleared these projects due to non-submission of utilization certificate by the state government. Now, when funds have been released by the government of India, appropriate state shares should have been matched by the state government and whether the state shares have been given or not it is the state government to answer and whether the utilization certificates have been submitted to the ministry of home affairs that is also for the government to answer now the people should not suffer due to the negligence of the department or for not submission of necessary documents and papers to the government of India. Therefore, I urge upon the government and I also request the Honorable Chief Minister to look into this matter personally and see where is the backlog and why is there a delay in the implementation of the border area development programs. We would not like to see further delays here. This matter is serious. <coughs> Roads, bridges, school buildings, community halls, and many other projects are all pending to be taken up for the last two years. So therefore, we would like to see that the government comes up 
with an immediate action on this matter and sort out this problem so that our people living in the border areas uh, do not suffer any further.